You're all into the introductory task today. And what we're looking at, you might be guessing from the uh, task today, we want to be able to work out our surface area of a cylinder. We've been working on the other prisms during the week. So we've developed our ideas about pyramids and the other types of prisms, okay, the different types of prisms we've seen. The idea today is we're going to work on the cylinder and get that, try to develop our understanding about what the surface area of that one is. So, first two tasks are looking at things that might help us today. Okay. So do those questions quickly and then we'll get someone to present their solutions and we'll see how that, see if we remember what the answers, what the uh, work would be involving with this one. Okay, did you ask, again, did you ask a friend on the table? Okay, what's our four before me? Did you go to the four before me before you went there? Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Rishav's going to show us what he's got for his solution. For the first one, I just drew a net of the cylinder and then labeled the, the lengths that were given. Okay. Yeah. And for the second one, I did um, to find the to find the circumference. You need to do diameter times pi. So then I did uh, the diameter, which was um, twice the radius, which is twenty. So 20 times pi circumference, and circumference equals to 62.831 centimeters. Yep. And then um, for the other part, um, to get the area, you have to do um, pi r squared. So I did um, pi times 10 squared, which gave me 314.16 centimeters squared. Okay. How are we go? Do any questions for Rishav on that one? We happy with that? Okay. We're happy with the diagram of the net. Did everyone's nets look like that? Yes. Did anyone have a different type of net where they way it looked? Yeah, I me? Mean? Okay, so you still had the two circles. Like you started to draw one over here. Yeah, that's right. So is that one okay? Does that make sense though? Yeah, I, I I think you'd be able to make the make we what we're what we're breaking it down to is the idea that we're getting two circles and that rectangle. Okay, which is good. That's, that's the main thing we really want to take away. And even like we did the other day, we don't really have to have it as a net as such to do those sorts of things, as long as we realise what surfaces we've got. Okay? Is everyone happy that we get a rectangle for that, for the middle part of it as well? Okay? Because that's, that's important to be able to do that. If you've broken up in a can any time, okay? You see, you'll see that, the two circles at the ends and that open part comes to the... Uh, a rectangle. Excellent. Thank you, Rishav. Okay. Any questions before we, about those? So we're going to have the idea that we're going to use those concepts today to do our main task. So let's have a look at the main task. Again, what we normally do, read it carefully. Okay. To yourselves. Don't need, don't need to read it out for us. Everyone can read. Yes. Okay, are there any, any words there that we don't understand? Maurice? How would you find the surface area if you don't find the... How do you find the surface area of the cylinder? Okay, is that, well, there are not any words there, but, okay, that's going to be, I think, a challenge, isn't it? Okay, so what you're actually doing, you're starting to think about our first two steps of our, pro our poly is problem solving. Okay, so if there's no words we, miss, we don't understand there, can we write down what the problem wants you to do? Okay, and then how are you going to go about it? And I think Maurice has already voiced something there that, is going to be key in doing that part today. Michael, can you tell us what you wrote down for what the problem wants you to do? Um, wants me to find the value of a radius and the height of the cylinder to reach 100 centimeters squared in surface. Okay. 
So we've got some key areas there. We know what we want to find. We need to find a radius, we need to find heights. Okay, what's the other key piece of data that Michael's picked out? The 100 square centimetres, okay, is the total surface area. Okay, so he's picked out those main parts of the, of the problem. Okay, how many solutions do we want to find? Two. We want to hopefully find two solutions. Okay, we'll start with one, then we can, change, we can work on getting another one. Okay, how are you going to try and solve this problem? Okay, that's, that's, that's what we've thought of thought, thinking about there. Massimo, what did you write down? I wrote, draw a diagram. Draw a diagram, okay. So you're going to go about, okay, good, ste good steps in problem solving. Draw a diagram, okay. Amir? Find substitution. You're going to use some substitution today as well, okay. Find, use some values, okay. You're going to use any values? No. Are you limited in, certain, in the values you can take? Yeah, what's, what's limiting us in the values we can take? The 100, the 100 square centimetres. We just can't go, oh, I'll put a, put a radius of 1,000 in. We can't do anything like that good. Um, I'm going to break the cylinder into the two circles and the rectangle. Okay, break, this, break, break it apart. Okay, getting our surfaces and breaking it apart there. There's some good hints. Are there challenges there? Yeah. I think there is some still challenges out there for us to try though. Okay, so... We've got a few hints, okay? Keep thinking about what other things you could try for your problem solving, okay? What um, problem solving steps you're gonna, uh, what strategies you could use, okay? So start having a go at the task. We'll put it back up for you. So you got it there, okay? Make, you can do your working space over the page again and you've got the two spaces for your solutions. What are we going to put in our justification as well? Sorry, we should have mentioned that. We want to justify, what are we going to show? Yeah, showing you're working of, that, how you're using those values to get the, value, uh, the 100 square centimetres. Yeah. Is there a special formula to work this out? Well, you can think of it as a formula, or you can think of it without a formula. Yep, okay. So, I, I try and tend to think, try and think of things. If I don't have to get, if I, lim, formulas can be limiting at times without understanding exactly what's happening. That's what I find with, with formulas. Okay? If you were to draw an arrow, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is a formula. Okay. How do, how do, what's that mean? That's the thing. That's, where, that's, where we, that's sometimes when we get stuck with formulas, we, we see a nice formula, but we, don't, we know what it means. That's, that's, the, that's really what we want to be able to do. Okay, so can you start to break that down then and say, well, what does this part mean and what does this part mean and how does it relate to my circle? So that's where people are drawing diagrams and see if they can relate it back to that. Okay, so there's your, there's your challenge. So would you say we can do like... Um Trial and error. Well, what, what, did, what was Amir's suggestion? Substitution. Okay. So think about, can you think about some of the things we've done this week? Yeah. Okay. And use those ideas. Okay. There's your, there's your problem solving, part of your problem solving. What's, what's one of the big strategies? So, well, no, think about, have a look at that. Okay. We don't want trial and error. But what else, what else, what are the other ones we've used? Simple, pro simple problems, along the lines of simpler problems is previous problems we've done. Okay. Okay. So think about what we've done this week because that, that'll help you as well. Okay. How we went about some of the other tasks this week. Okay, so does everyone agree that your solution looks good? I agree. Have you talked? Have you talked to them? Yeah. Okay. So what was it? What was disagreements? No. Okay. No. So I'm trying to explain that like this bit has to equal that. Okay. We're turning it. You have to turn it around. Okay. Does that make sense to you? That the length of this one 
Yeah. Amir's saying the length oh, of this one is the same as yeah. what's outside the circle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that's probably the that's probably the main problem, isn't it? The circles are pretty good. They're okay to find the area, but we are finding the area of the rectangle. We do need the dimensions. Okay. I got that answer for them, but if it's just a bit one area. That's okay. Yeah. Why? Why is it? Why is that okay? Yeah, because you're rounding at this point. You're rounding when you put it back in the check. Is going to? It's not going to be exact, is it? Okay. But you're very, very close. 0 0.09 away from 100. We're looking at that going, yeah, that's pretty close. So we're going to be quite happy with that. So you're justifying, I think you're justifying it quite nicely there. Okay, good. So can you get another one? Can you pick some other values? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty close as well, isn't it? Okay. No, how, how close are you expecting to get? Yeah, how close, how close do you really want it? As close as possible. Okay, so point one. Point one away from a hundred is not close enough for you? Oh, you're harsh. I'm harsh. <laughs> the man who made the main task. <laughs> no, it, that's pretty close though, isn't it? Point one away, we'd be, we'd be quite happy. As close as you can get. Yeah, not, well, you can get closer. You can get point zero one's closer yeah, than point one. Okay, but in the site for this size of a number, point one's pretty good. I'd be quite happy to see. And see that. That's so. I'd be happy to see what we're getting there. Do we know where this is coming from? Yes. So the two, so the pi r squared is the one circle, so you gotta find both circles. Yep. You gotta find the two. Yep. The, uh, you gotta do pi r h and w. Where is that? Where? So what is that part? What's it representing there? The, the rectangle. Okay. So how does it, how's it 2 pi r times the h? Because normally it would be, normally it would be the crossways, the whole way, the rectangle, but you've got to times by 2 to get, I don't know. You're not sure? You're not sure. Okay, because that, that's where we really want to be able to understand where does that come from. Where did you guys get the formula from? IPad. IPad, yeah, good. Okay, you're using our 4 before me. You're going to, a, you're going to, to sources. But then, your next challenge is, okay, that's gonna, you know that's going to work. So you'll be able to get some values. Do we understand where it's coming from? Okay. Have a think about, John has drawn the diagram here. Okay. So how is that going to get us that formula? That part there. Okay. Okay. So that's where we come back. Keep, keep working though. Get some values and see how you go. So I'm trying to get 100. Like on the door. <laughs> I'm trying to get 100. While they're doing the easy way, I'm trying to get 100. Okay. How are you trying to get, how are you trying to get that 100 though? Well, I'm trying to get the two circles to equal 50 and then try and get the rectangle to equal 50 as well. So 50 plus 50 Good luck. is 100. Good luck. Oh, the two circles together. So 25, 25. 25. So are you going to, how, yeah. again, so the spirit, how... The spirit, you're using oh, pi. Yeah, you got pi in there. So how... As close as can be. Okay. Is to, to get there though, is two decimal places going to be enough though? If we're going to round it to two decimal places, no. And we, we get to get the close. The more decimal places we could we take, the closer we're going to get. You know, we're able to get. But we, yeah, we're, we're looking. Two decimal places is going to be close enough. So that's why we're saying like we get within point one. It's 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 pretty good. Okay, it's close enough. Okay. Okay. We're going to run out of some time soon, so we might get, have a look at some solutions. Michael, you want to bring yours up and have a look? Sorry? Okay. Okay, can we have a look at what Michael's done here? What was the big challenge? Who can put up their hand and tell me what they thought was the big challenge? out of all this task? Finding some numbers? Well, we said we just pick some, we could pick some at random. That was, that, that was some, uh, not random, but we could have, we could just choose some. Amir? Okay, there's, you, they're making that right choice of numbers is. The top of the rectangle had to equal the diameter. Okay, so the idea, okay, so that, the circles were the easy part. A lot of people went, yeah, I can, get the, I can work out the area of the circles, but working out, okay, how do I get my area of my rectangle? 
is the real is probably the hardest part there. Okay, and a lot of people had to come that 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 uh, thinking about well, how do I get that? Okay, and there was good discussion there. Some people went to find some information on their iPads to find where that come from. John, I found a nice little widget there, a little movie that showed him exactly what to do. We're using that for before me, okay? We're getting that information about what, where does it come from? Not just what the formula was. That was a good thing. They, boys here recognised, okay, where did that, it had to be the circumference, okay? That's more important than just finding the formula. Michael, explain to us what you did and what you guys were talking about on your table. So you have to find a radius and a height. So for the radius, I just put in any number. So for, th for the first solution, I just chose number three. And because the formula was two pi r squared plus two pi r by the height. I to so where did you get that from though? How did you guys work that out? Oh, we just, we, um, first of all, the formula, but we have to look up the circumference. Okay, so you, re you had a discussion, you recognised the circumference was what you were needing, yep. So for the first part, because you have to do two parts of working out, so for two pi r squared, that was, those were the two circles. So for the radius, you went with two times the pi by the three squared, which equals the 56.55 centimetres. And then since there's 100 centimetres in surface area, I subtracted the 56.55, which left the area of the rectangle. And then since there was the other part, you had to do uh, two by pi by the radius and by the height. So I just worked out what two pi by the radius was, which was 18.85, and then I put the height as a fraction, so I put 43.45 over 18.85, and that gave me the Gave you 2.31. Okay, how did you know you were right though? I just substituted both of those into the problem. Okay, and it gave you? 100.09. Okay. So when you put it back in and put it back into the formula that he's used, he knows the formula was right, you got 100.09. Now that was the problem. Andrew wants it to be exactly 100. Oh, nearly there. He's nearly, nearly there. So he's still working on it. Okay. How hard is that to get? How hard is it There's to get a there? a lot of digits. Okay. So you, you're looking at more digits. What, we, what was our restrictions here? We said? Two. two decimal places. So when we go to two decimal places, and then we get to 100.09. That's pretty good, okay? 100.09, okay, he's nine one hundredths bigger than 100, okay? In com nine one hundredths compared to 100 is very, very small. So you, you've done a pretty good job, I think, getting there, okay? So the numbers worked out nicely, three and 2.31, was it? Yep. Yeah. What about, how'd, what'd you do for the next one? I just chose another radius, just another number for the radius. Uh, I tried using number four, but if you did that, the first part would equal over to 100. Okay, so if you got four, was too big. Okay, I think you guys found that five was too big. Okay, so four worked out to be too big as well. So, so if you like, so there were, we said there were restrictions in the numbers we could take there. Um, so obviously, it's, it's like less than four is one of the ones that's going to restart with any numbers greater than four or four or more is restricting us. So it probably is a cut off, cut off point we could, we could do. So, okay. And I just pretty much followed the, the same. Same, yeah, same way, but still get, just reinforcing that, yeah, these are the ones. But also I like that you, yeah, you were able to recognise what numbers weren't going to work, okay, which is good. And you went, okay, let's change track and go in the other direction. Because really, once you're at three, you can go either direction. There, so you went backwards. Okay, any questions for Michael about what they thought about and what they did? Anyone, anyone checking their work as they went along? Did anyone use the same values? I did, yes. Yeah, three, three wasn't a bad value to work. You, did, you guys did the two? Okay, you did two as well? I yeah. got to 100, but not with two decimal places. How many decimal places? Was well, 100 point what? A lot. 100 point? 100 on a lot. 100, you? It still, still would be rounded. Yeah, as long as the calculator says 100. Okay, so thanks, Michael. Okay, so yeah, well, if you're getting at it, the calculator saying 100 on the dot, yeah, you are going a fair it's amount of. Only 47 cents. 47 cents. <laughs> okay, so we're going to. Uh, 
have a go at the reflection now because it's, we're, we're gonna, because the time's going to run out on us. Can you do our reflection first? Okay. If you finish your reflection, the consolidation sheet is in the uh, folder that you can start then as well. What we're looking at is, is your, we're talking about your understanding today in the reflection. So tell us about your understanding of surface area, especially sp surface area of a cylinder. Okay, the one part we worked on today. If you want to, down the bottom as well, talk about your problem solving strategies that you thought of, you used. And if you use different sources, that would be good to, to acknowledge those sources of where you found that information today. So can we make sure we get our have a, get the consolidation task? And just talking with Abby then, we need to see what would be the value of R that we we could go up to without when it, before it starts hitting, we get in saying those negative values of H. How how would we work that out? Do you think? Is there any way to start working that out of what the radius would be? Now there's there's something to think about. What would be that value? Well, Michael found that four didn't work. Okay, five didn't work. So where's that point? And how do we determine that? Okay, there's something to think about. How could we determine? Okay, there's a solution I had as well. So, but I didn't really need to go through it too much because Michael did a really good job. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that one. Um, have a go at this consolidation task for homework, so make sure you're taking that. Put your blue sheet in the folder. Okay, what do we mean, so there's a question here, what do we mean by open cylinder? So no top on one, yeah, so you've got a base on one of the circles, there's no top. So yeah, it's just changed the problem slightly. So imagine that your, your, your cylinder has no top on it, so that's an open cylinder. There's a base at the bottom, but not at the top. 